Hi all, JV here again from Info Hunt with today's little guide on trying to fix the problem when you are on a call and the person on the other line can't hear you or you can't hear them. So what we're gonna do is start with the most basic type of issues to fix through software and then try to diagnose if it is a hardware problem. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is, obviously the most important thing is give your phone a reboot or a restart. Sounds obvious, but sometimes it does on the rare occasion fix a problem, but still do it. And then if that doesn't work, we go from the top right corner, slide down, and then we're going to see a volume slider on the far right that you can see I'm playing with now. Now what you wanna look for is an icon that has headphones. If it has headphones, then there's a few things we can do. If it doesn't, you'll just have to wait and we'll need to go to the next step. If it's got headphones, get your headphones, plug it in, and then after that, remove the headphones again. And hopefully that headphones icon disappears and try to make a call to see if it works. Now, tried that a few times. Sometimes it does take a few goes. If that doesn't work, we're gonna go to the next step being, go to settings, and then from settings, we need to scroll down to accessibility. And then from accessibility, we will scroll down to uh, audio slash visual. So on there, what we need to make sure is noise cancellation is turned off. So I'm just going to turn it off now. Then we go back. And then from there, we go to hearing devices. And in hearing devices, we turn on hearing aid compatibility. Press back and then make a call, see if it works. If it does, that's great. Now there's one final thing we can do for software. Now that involves a hard reset and doing that will wipe all your data. So I can't stress it enough. If you are going to do this, back up your data to iCloud or back it up through iTunes because you are going to lose everything. What you need to do is go back to settings, then go to general and scroll to the bottom. Depending on what iOS you have, this is iOS 15, and it says transfer or reset iPhone. It'll say something like reset uh, iPhone on, on older versions. You press on that and then you're gonna see uh, erase all contents and settings. Now, once again, I'm gonna stress it again. If you press that, you will lose everything and your phone will go to a factory restore. So make sure that if you do, and you do have important data, that you do back it up. So that's pretty much it for software. Now, the next step is to try and identify possibly if there's any hardware type of issue. And if it is, what you need to do is first contact Apple, especially if you're under warranty and you do have Apple Care, to see how they can assist. And by all means, you do have the option of contacting a third party repairer. But remember, if you do, it will void any warranty and uh, any type of uh, coverage you do have with Apple. So when I do see it go down the route of a hardware type problem, most of the time is in your phone, you've got at the top here, a little modular ear speaker. And that ear speaker tends to, well, they, it won't last forever, so it needs to be replaced. And if it does get replaced, on most occasions, it does fix a problem. However, you do need a technician to look at it because there sometimes can be other issues relating to the logic board. So I hope this does help. It is a short video and uh, give those things a try. Any questions, drop a comment below. And also, if you do have any type of uh, successful uh, solutions that did work, drop a comment below as well for the people watching this video because it might help them out as well. Once again, thank you. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll be back soon with another video. Thank you.